Hello, dear ones, enlightened ones, inspired ones, my favorite, my enchanted brothers and sisters. Hello, how are you on this wonderful Sunday afternoon here on the East Coast? It's 3.35 p.m. and it's January 27th, so I hope you're enjoying the day. Some of you may already be in um, sun, uh, Monday, <laughs> and so I hope you're enjoying that as well and feeling blessed. For those who don't know me, my name is Cindy St. Martin. I'm certified angel therapist. I'm certified in mindfulness, certified in holistic health and healing. I'm also a Reiki master for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. So thank you for joining me for Pick Your Own Tarot Cards today and hear what the angels have to say uh, for you and the messages that, that they have to say. This, these are general readings. And of course, a personal reading, all you have to do is go ahead and contact me and uh, we'll schedule you one just for you. But what I'd like you to do is go, take some deep breaths, okay? And call on your angels or call on your guides or spirit or wh whoever your, your spirituality leads you to. Go ahead and call on them and ask them to help you select the cards that speak to you. I will lower the camera. I have four group of cards. I think normally I have three, but today I got four. And so uh, pick the cards that, that stand out or speak to you. And of course, you can pick all four groups. You can pick one group. You can maybe uh, one card in another group speaks to you and, and a card in, in this group speaks to you. So whatever um, stands out, there are the message that's for you. You can't get this wrong. There's no set rules, but just connecting to your source, to your power, your love, your spirituality, and this will help you pick the right cards that are meant for you. Hey, Stephanie, thanks for the love and popping in. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and lower the camera. And so you take a look at the, there's four groups of cards. And again, take some really deep breaths and, and then select the cards that stand out to you. Okay. Uh, when, the, when I lower the camera, I won't be able to see any comments until afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, lower the count. I'm going to give you a minute or so. Call, yeah, call on your angels and go ahead and look at the cards. And we have four group of cards today. So we have the first group, the second group, the third group, and the fourth group. So go ahead and take a look. Whichever stands out to you, that's the ones you want to pick. But you want to take some nice, deep cleansing breaths, okay, and call upon your angels or who likes us, whoever and help you to select the group of cards that have the message for you. Again, you can pick more than one group. You can pick a card from this group or that group. Whatever works, whatever stands out is the message for you. Okay, so go ahead, take some deep breaths. I'll give you a minute or two to look them over and meditate on them. Okay, and then we'll, we'll begin. <laughs> Four groups, group one, two, three, four. I'm gonna start with this one first, okay? I don't know if you're hearing, Tilly's doing some work upstairs, so uh, I apologize for any interruptions with that. But, you know, when you're connected to spirit and soul, nothing can, can change that. There's no interruptions. Other than being quiet, you can be quiet in the noisiest and loudest situation and still be connected to source. Okay, that's, you know, sometimes it takes a little practice. Sometimes it's easy for everyone to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin. And anybody who comes in later, maybe we'll watch from the beginning or, or whatever. But I'm going to just go ahead and turn this over this way so I have room here. And then we'll go with the first card. It's from the angels. This is a message from the angels. And it's the four of fire. Okay. And it says... Uh, Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, a successful completion of a project. Oh. <laughs> so something has ended and it's it's come to completion, and you're very either very relieved or very satisfied, or very happy maybe with the outcome or about your own uh, work that you put toward it. Okay, so this is a really good card. And now the archangels want to say and this is really great. <laughs> Ten of Michael comes up, <laughs> and it says, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. These cards really kind of say the same, the same message here, okay, with the four of fire 
and of course the, the ten of Michael. So something has come to completion. Something has finally ended. Uh, peace and love is going to follow. And you have the angels and the archangels confirming that with you. That's, that's wonderful. And now we're going to go and head and connect with the, um, the romance angels. And they tell you playfulness. And it says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I think uh, we need a playfulness or a youthful disposition on everything in life, not just with romance. You know, we can't take things too seriously. You know, we have to see um, the humor in, mo in most things or just, you know, not let it bother you, not let it get to you. And I think that's basically what they're saying here with these two first two cards. You know, don't. It's now over with. Don't, don't hold on to it anymore. Now it's time to play. It's time to connect. It's time to enjoy life as it is. And um, the angel's final message here is, is ask. And the card reads, it says, ask us to help you with the situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We've governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So go ahead and ask. Go ahead. What's the next thing that you want to accomplish? You know, there's always something. When something new or something, a desire has come for, there's always something else. There's always something that we want or desired or need. So that's never, ever ending. And once, once we realize that, you know, when we put those energies out to the universe and, and ask for what we want and be excited, you have to be excited for it to come. You know, you only have to ask one time, but then it should absolutely show gratitude for all of that. Okay. So this is group one. Now let's go ahead and see what group two has to say. And the first card from the angels is of the two of air. And the card reads, it says, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Okay. So uh, you're being encouraged to go ahead and, and really um, take care of business, <laughs> in other words, okay? There's a situation <clears throat> that has come to your attention that you really need to take care of. Maybe you've been brushing it off or you don't feel like dealing with it. Uh, a situation or problem, but uh, the angels are telling you, now it's time to do this. It's time to take care of business on what you need to take care of, okay? And go ahead and do that. And then the arc, oh, sorry, there's two angel card messages here. So they have two messages for you. Uh, and, and again, uh, maybe both cards mean something or not, but it's the queen of water. Maybe one card means something, so somebody's picking this. And the other card means something, whatever it is, but it's the queen of water. And it says, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. So there's probably a decision that you need to make that's going to, um, be, it's either concerning a relationship or uh, sometimes when we, we make a decision on one thing, everything else falls into place, even relationships. So you would know better what that is because it's a general reading. So whatever decision needs to make, uh, your relationships are going to benefit from that to a new level. You need to really trust what you know. Decide what you want. Okay. Decide what's important to you and make that decision and move forward. Stop being stuck. Stop feeling there's a stalemate or pushing something off uh, that you don't want to deal with. Now is the time to go ahead and do that. And, when, and then the archangels tell us peace. And it says, release the past. There's, there's more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So what, whatever decisions that, that, that you need to, maybe there's something you're holding on from the past, uh, you know, that someone has done to you or a situation is holding on to your past and, and you, you keep pushing it off and you don't want to take care of it. You don't want to deal with it. 
well, it's time to let it go. It's time to face it and just let it go because it's not benefiting you. It's not bringing peace into your life and you need to do that, okay? Just let go and let God. And I, so many people tell me that's, that's easier said than done. That's only if you're connected to ego. When, when you know how much it benefits from you, when you finally let go and let God, let things go, just let it be, <laughs> you know, and, and just let things unfold naturally. Uh, this means you have faith, you have trust, and you have great wisdom when you do this. And you want to tap into that wisdom of knowing how things work. So, yeah, but once you do this and you see how wonderful things turn out, then it gets easier and easier and easier to do so. And so the romance angels tell us religious factors. And Carl Reed says, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this, this card, uh, you know, this is a good thing to know this, you know, uh, because we, um, what we're brought up or what we think or how we act, you know, some of us need to stick with those beliefs and maybe those beliefs are too, too restricting, you know, and we need to let maybe some of that go or look at a different way of doing things. So this could, card could even, this card could really bring romance to you by your faith and your spiritual uh, thoughts and, and beliefs, or it can hinder them, but only you would know that, okay? So maybe take a good look at that and see what's happening. And then uh, the overall message, the angels tell us perfect timing on this. And the card reads, it says, uh, now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with, the, with us by your side. Don't delay or, or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. So, yes, yeah, so here when you're stuck making this choice or this decision, uh, now is the perfect time to get unstuck. Now is the time to make the decision. Now is the time uh, to, uh, to take care of business. Okay. These are really good cards here, this, this second pile. Okay, so let's go to the third pile here. I'm going to flip them over. And the first card is the forebear from the angels. This is the angel tarot deck. So this is a message from the angels. And, and it reads, it says, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making the decision. Meditation may provide answers. Okay, sometimes we got to really step back on something, you know, something is, is overwhelming or driving us crazy or anything like that. We need to take a break. Um, you know, take a vacation, get, a, get away from it all and to clear our minds to, to, so we can think of what needs to be done, you know, or just sometimes just meditation, you know, a 10 minute meditation, a 20 minute meditation, a five minute meditation every day will help you to release anything that uh, is troubling you, okay? Or it's, it's, it's overwhelming you, and you wanna make sure you take care of that. And then, of course, the Archangels here is the Seven of Michael. This is the Archangel Power Deck, Tarot Deck. So it's the art message from the Archangels. And they say, there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review the details, okay? So while you're stepping back and resting or taking that vacation or meditating, you will figure out the angels are going to come to you and tell you a better course of action to take. Okay, that's going to come there. Um, you want to review all the details, you know, think calmly. Uh, don't get angry. Stay in a place of wisdom. Stay in a place of peace and really review them. And, and, and you're going to know the answers. You're going to know exactly what to do. The romance angels are telling you, pay attention to the red flags. Okay. And that's where I think, you know, these cards are telling you, step back. What's really going on? 
you know. And the card says the signs are cautioning you. A lot of times, you know, we don't pay attention. And this doesn't just because the romance angels, they're just giving us information. It doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It can be. It doesn't have to be. But, you know, we get red flags all the time. And when we don't pay attention to the red flags, the carpet is like pulled out from under us. It's a, the tower is falling down. It feels like our world is falling apart. Why is this happening? Because we didn't pay attention to the red flags. Or we're in denial of what uh, of what's really going on. So yeah, so you you need to take a break, take a step back, and really take time to meditate, review all the options, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and really connect to really what's going on. And the overall message, and this this goes along with it, is fresh air. And it says. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. I know some, some of you are um, in the wintertime, but still get, go out. Even if you, uh, you know, listen, go on YouTube and listen to some uh, nature sounds, you know, listening to that connect to, to nature. You need a break. You need a vacation. You need to step back. You need to take a breath of fresh air. You need to figure out what's going on. And then they also, the two cards that came out with the, with the message here, and this one is play. And the angels are saying, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Absolutely. It's this whole message that's coming through here. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energies so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Yeah, you need a break. You definitely need a break. So then when you return back, you'll know what to do, how to deal with the situation, and where you're going. Okay, I love how these cards all come together <laughs> to tell the story. Okay, so the, the last group here, the first card from the angels is the eight of air. And the angels say, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. I love this card, it, illusion of being trapped, you know. Not being, not having the confidence or the courage to take action, you know. And so it's, you know, you need to tap into courage and strength and to go ahead and do this. You need to separate from this, this, um, this illusion, ego illusion, because it's really not, you know. We make things up in our heads, we think too much, and we create things that are probably a lot worse than what they are. Okay, I'm gonna make sure we step back from that. The Archangels tell us, the Knight of Ariel, and the Archangels message, and it says, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So an illusion of being trapped here, <laughs> And the lack of self-confidence, they're telling you, go ahead and there's a lot that you need to take care of. So you need, need to build the confidence. Make a detailed list. Figure out what exactly you need to do, okay? Sit down, take the time and figure out what it is. Make a plan. Go ahead and make that plan. Because the archangels picked two cards for this. And this is because there's new beginnings there waiting for you new beginnings and the card says starting a new life finding your purpose a forgiving and compassionate review of the past okay so you want to make sure you know get away from the illusion get it get it you know make a list figure out what you want to do it's time to leave it's time to make changes time to leave the past in the past and start new and having the courage, you know, you call on your angels. 
especially Archangel Michael, to help you get the courage to stand in your, your, your purpose, stand in your truth, stand your ground, and make the changes that you need to make. Take a deep breath and go ahead and do it. Whatever you need to do to feel brave that you have to, to, to go ahead and take care of it. And the romance angels are telling us passion. And it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes, allow that to happen with new beginnings. You know, stop feeling trapped. Stop feeling uh, afraid. Allow, you have, it's your birthright to be happy and to be passionate and to be joyful. And you don't allow someone to take that away from you because by allowing someone to take that away from you, you're doing it to yourself. Okay. You control your happiness and everything. And then the overall message from the angels tell you, tell you there's nothing to worry about. And it says, you are safe. And this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to you and through you. Yeah. So there's no need uh, to, to create illusions, no need to create doubt or courage or worry because uh, there's nothing to worry about. That just go ahead and do it. Connect to the power, connect to the source because you've got what it takes. Follow your passion. Go ahead and do what is your truth? What is in your heart to go ahead and do that? Because you have support from the universe, from spirit, from God, from the angels to go ahead and do that. You just have to build up that courage to go ahead and do that. Okay. So if you just popped in late again, uh, hi, uh, ciao, Bella, Anna. Thank you for popping in. I couldn't read everybody's messages because the camera was down. But, um, you know, if you're just coming in, you may want to look at it from the beginning to pick the cards that, that um, speak to you and that um, means something to you. And again, you can't get it wrong, <laughs> okay? So, but thanks for hanging out. You might wanna check again. And uh, if you're, it doesn't matter when you watch this video, it's only when you're drawn to it that you can pick the cards that speak to you and hopefully encourage you, okay? So thanks for hanging out uh, with me uh, this afternoon. And I hope you enjoy your afternoon. I'm gonna try, and get a general reading out and we'll see what, what happens with that. But thanks. And you know you're powerful when you're knowing. You've got the Ascended Masters, the angels and archangels behind you. You're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. You have to be in a place of love and peace in order to give it. Okay. And know that God blesses and loves you and so do I. So lots of love, hugs and kisses from me to you. And of course, I wish every single one of you namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love in you. Take care. Thank you so much for uh, Anula. <laughs> I think I pronounced it. Thank you too. And God blesses you too. <laughs> so talk to you all later. Bye-bye.